Simvastatin is the popular cholesterol-lowering drug that's been around since 1992. It's proven to reduce LDL cholesterol, cut the risk of stroke, heart attack and even death. But if it's so effective, why are doctors prescribing it less often? In this video, we dive into everything you need to know about this medication and the potential side effects, including questions about dementia, diabetes concerns and serious muscle injuries. Plus, we'll reveal the dangerous drug interactions you need to know about, so stay tuned until the end where we answer these questions. So let's get started with what is simvastatin? Simvastatin is used to lower cholesterol if you've been diagnosed with high blood cholesterol. It's also taken to prevent heart disease, including heart attacks and strokes. It belongs to a group of medicines called statins. Your doctor may also prescribe simvastatin if you have a family history of heart disease or a long-term health condition such as rheumatoid arthritis or type 1 or type 2 diabetes. So how do they work? Simvastatin works by stopping your liver from making cholesterol by blocking an enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase in the liver, which lowers your blood cholesterol level. It works similarly to other statins like atorvastatin or rosuvastatin. It is usually prescribed in combination with diet, exercise, weight loss and possibly other medications as part of an overall health regime to improve heart health. During your first 12 months on this medicine, you'll be offered a couple of routine tests to make sure your liver is working properly. So who may not be able to take simvastatin? Simvastatin is not suitable for some people. To make sure it's safe for you, tell your doctor if you have ever had an allergic reaction to simvastatin or any other medicine. If you have liver or kidney problems, if you are trying to get pregnant, are already pregnant or you're breastfeeding, if you have lung disease, if you regularly drink large amounts of alcohol, if you have an underactive thyroid, if you have ever had a muscle disorder, including fibromyalgia, if you have a history of myasthenia gravis or ocular myasthenia. So what's the dose? The usual dose of simvastatin for adults is between 10 mg and 40 mg once a day. People with very high cholesterol levels may be prescribed a higher dose of 80 mg a day. Your dose will depend on why you need the medicine, your cholesterol levels and other medicines you're taking. So when should it be taken in the morning or at night? Take simvastatin once a day in the evening. This is because your body makes most of its cholesterol at night, so simvastatin works better at lowering cholesterol at night rather than in the morning. You can take simvastatin with or without food. However, some people get an upset stomach, so you may benefit from taking it with food. Swallow the tablets whole with a glass of water and don't drink grapefruit juice while you're taking it. It can increase the level of simvastatin in your blood. So what are the common side effects? Muscle aches, joint pain, constipation, diarrhea, bloating and vomiting, rash or itching, hair loss, liver inflammation, fatigue or tiredness, headache or dizziness, memory impairment, forgetfulness, memory loss, confusion, anemia or low blood platelet count, blurred vision, sexual problems including loss of libido and erectile dysfunction, sleep disturbances including nightmares. There are also some reports of depression. So what are the serious side effects? Now stop taking simvastatin and call a doctor if you get unexplained muscle pain, tenderness, weakness or cramps. This is more likely if you're taking a higher dose of simvastatin. This can be a sign of muscle breakdown and kidney damage. If the whites of your eyes turn yellow or your skin turns yellow, or if you have pale poo and dark pee, these can be signs of liver problems. 
if you get a rash with pink red blotches, especially on the palm of your hands or soles of your feet. This could be a sign of a skin reaction, erythema multiforme. You have a severe stomach pain. This can be a sign of acute pancreatitis. Or if you have a cough, feel short of breath, and if you have lost weight. This can be a sign of lung disease. If you have a weakness in your arms or legs, that gets worse after activity, or if you get double vision, droopy eyelids, problems swallowing or shortness of breath. These can be signs of myasthenia gravis. And in rare cases, it's possible to have a serious allergic reaction to simvastatin. Now, these are not all the side effects of simvastatin. For a full list, see them leaflet inside your medicines packet. So what are the cautions with other medicines? Some medicines affect the way that simvastatin works and can increase the chances of you having serious and sometimes dangerous side effects such as muscle damage. Tell your doctor or pharmacist if you are taking any of the following medicines. Antibiotics such as clarithromycin, rifampicin or fusidic acid. Medicines used to treat fungal infections such as fluconazole or ketoconazole. Some HIV medicines. Medicines used to treat hepatitis C virus infection. Warfarin, a medicine used to help prevent blood clots. Cyclosporin, a medicine to treat psoriasis or rheumatoid arthritis. Danazole, a medicine to treat endometriosis. Amiodarone, a medicine that helps your heart rhythm get back to normal in atrial fibrillation. Colchicin, a medicine used to treat gout. Verapamil, diltiazem or amlodipine, medicines for high blood pressure and heart problems. If you're taking simvastatin and need to take one of these medicines, your doctor may prescribe a lower dose of simvastatin, prescribe a different statin medicine, or recommend that you stop taking your simvastatin for a while. For example, the maximum recommended dose for simvastatin in conjunction with amlodipine and diltiazem is now 20 milligrams a day. So how does simvastatin compare with other medicines for high cholesterol? Statins all work in the same way, but they differ in how well they lower cholesterol. Some examples of other statins include atorvastatin, rosuvastatin, fluvastatin, and pravastatin. If you have a side effect with one statin, it may not happen with another statin. If you would like to learn more about this, you could watch my other videos on atorvastatin and rosuvastatin that I will leave a link for down below. So one of the frequently asked questions is whether simvastatin causes dementia. There are some patients who say that they suffer from brain fog or mental cloudiness in my clinics. These are side effects that have been reported and are listed in the manufacturer's data sheet, which states that the reports are generally non-serious and reversible upon statin discontinuation. In 2012, the FDA issued a specific warning about statins and the potential for causing short-term memory loss, confusion or forgetfulness as people were increasingly reporting this as a side effect. Now remember that dementia is a long-term problem that happened over many years and is not reversible. Short-term memory loss happened over days or weeks and is reversible and not permanent. Another question is whether simvastatin can cause diabetes you are likely to be at a greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes if you have high levels of sugars and fats in your blood, are overweight and have high blood pressure. There is evidence that simvastatin can raise blood sugar in some people as stated in the manufacturer's data sheet here. And lastly, the question addressing the concerns about serious muscle injuries. A number of years back, the MHRA, the UK medicines watchdog, reported an increased risk of myopathy with high-dose simvastatin 80mg. 
Now, myopathy refers to diseases that affect muscles that connect to your bones. And the FDA, the US medicine's watchdog, also issued a warning about sinvastatin 80 milligrams having a significant chance of causing rhabdomyolysis, which is an extreme and serious case of muscle damage due to the medication. The good news is that this dose is generally not prescribed anymore, so you don't see this happening as often now. If you are concerned about any of the side effects we have mentioned, please discuss these with your healthcare provider. So in conclusion, even though simvastatin is a well-studied medicine, I would say that for new patients who need statins prescribed, simvastatin is not a popular choice anymore due to the interactions with commonly used blood pressure tablets like diltiazem or verapamil. There are also potential risks with using high-dose simvastatin 80 milligrams. There are now alternative statins such as atovastatin and resuvastatin that are used instead. However, for people who have been on simvastatin for many years, who are doing well and have no problems with it, we generally continue with it rather than changing it to a different statin. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see new videos that are posted each week and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified about new videos and please make a comment in the comment section to tell me what you enjoyed about this video or what topics you'd like to learn more about. You can also check out my other videos and playlist.